I'm going to show you the perfect diet to reduce your anxiety. This is going to be a full guide because are you tired of feeling anxious all the time and wondering if there's a way out by eating to a calmer mind? And what if I told you that the foods that you eat could make you more anxious and actually lead you to the development of a generalized anxiety disorder or be the key to unlocking a more peaceful, confident and anxiety free life. And just a few years ago, I was trapped in a cycle of stress and anxiety because I got heavily bullied at school when I was 10 years old and then I developed a generalized anxiety disorder. And I tried to fill this void by eating junk food. I literally ate junk food every single day until I threw up and I couldn't control myself, which just made my anxiety worse and I started to be obese, right? So you can see here a couple of pictures. I just escaped from my anxiety, from these negative feelings. And when I went home from school, after getting bullied all day long, I just went straight upstairs into my bed, slept and cried. And then in the evening, when I woke up again, I played video games, watched some YouTube or TVs, movies, Netflix, and just ate junk food. And I couldn't control myself. I was eating junk food to the point where I was literally almost about to throw up. And I was just eating and eating and eating because food is releasing hormones that are similar to love. It's releasing oxytocin, oxytocin, something like that, which is basically the hormone that you release when you're feeling love or when you're having intimacy with someone. So I just tried to fill this void with junk food. And I was so addicted to sugar, so addicted to all of these bad chemicals inside of the junk food, which just screwed up my hormones, made me extremely more anxious by giving me inflammation inside of my body and destroying my micro gut biome. <laughs> and it was not a good time, right? My dads were just filled with nervous nervousness about school, overthinking about everything, literally how I look. And and my days were just filled with nervousness and overthinking all day long. I really had these anxious negative thoughts all day long and I couldn't enjoy a single moment. I was never present and just drifting off, thinking about how horrible my life is and dreading the day ahead, trying to escape by eating. And sleepless nights became the norm. It also really impacted my sleep because I was eating right after bed. And then I went to bed, right, with like almost having a panic attack because of all of the bad food that I ate that I couldn't sleep, which just again made my anxiety worse. But then I discovered the power of eating right. And honestly, this changed my life. It changed everything for me. This is like one of the fundamentals that you need to have in place. Exercise, diet and sleep to overcome your anxiety. And by the end of this video, you will have a complete guide to the perfect diet that will significantly reduce your anxiety. I will tell you exactly what foods to avoid, how bad foods impact your mental health and your anxiety, what to eat instead and how to stick to your um, routine and actually incorporate healthy food into your diet. And it's not just about listing foods, it's a comprehensive guide that explains why these foods work, how they incorporate them into your daily life and what to avoid. And I break down complex nutritional science into easy to understand language because there's a lot of jargon out there. We can just explain it in simple terms and take what works and leave out what doesn't. So the best part is these changes can literally impact your anxiety levels and reduce your anxiety and your symptoms and your negative thoughts and overthinking within a few days. I instantly saw changes once I got rid of all of the bad food and started eating healthier. And on top of that, also my body completely transformed. Because I was eating healthier, I was able to build more muscle. But that's not the point of this video. So here's what we're going to cover. Foods to avoid, what to eat instead, how to stick to your diet and why your diet makes you extremely anxious. Now, how and why your diet makes you extremely anxious? Given the link between anxiety and gut health, it's not surprising that many studies show improved anxiety symptoms when the gut microbiome becomes healthier. In fact, studies with positive results reported an 86% success rate in reducing anxiety. 86%. So it's almost like 100% certain that if you eat healthier food, you will reduce your symptoms of anxiety, like overthinking, anxious and negative thoughts, constantly like having physical symptoms, shaking, fast heart beating. And all of that bad stuff that is associated with anxiety. Because the gut is like your second brain. A lot of people call it the second brain because you have something called a gut-brain axis inside of your body. So what you eat directly impacts your mental health. The gut and brain cobbler closely influencing both decision and emotions such as anxiety. And this is common sense. If you eat like shit, you're going to feel like shit. And the foods that you eat, they impact the hormones inside of your body, the chemicals, the inflammation 
which will all make your anxiety worse if you're eating worse food. You literally get brain fog. You become more anxious if you're eating bad food. Microorganisms in your gut, including bacteria, viruses, play a crucial role in maintaining our health and affecting our mental state. And if you're not eating right, you will screw up the bacteria inside of your gut. And gut bacteria produces neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, which are kind of like the feel-good hormones. And one of the best ways to combat anxiety is to increase your feel-good hormones, dopamine, serotonin. And if you're eating the wrong food, you screw up those hormones. You screw up the neurotransmitters. You will literally have depressive and anxious symptoms by eating shit food. And on top of that, you also increase inflammation inside of your body, which is directly linked to increased anxiety levels. Because inflammation in the body triggered by injury or affection, right? So, you know, when you have an injury, you have an inflammation. And then, you know, your body kind of recovers. You can also have these inflammations inside of your body, inside of your gut. And that can worsen conditions like depression and anxiety. Poor dietary choices such as processed foods, high in sugars and unhealthy fats harm brain health and worsen anxiety. And on top of that, also when you get obese, you increase the inflammation inside of your body, which is terrible. So here are the foods that you have to avoid at all costs if you want to reduce your anxiety and improve your mental health as well as your gut bacteria microbiome and reduce inflammation. First of all, foods with a high glycemic load, GL, which are basically linked to a higher rate of anxiety, depression, and inflammation. And they also harm your metabolic health. And this number shows the effect on blood sugar levels when you eat common portion of the food, which is basically, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to understand this stuff, but eating the foods that I'm about to tell you will reduce your mental health. It will make your anxiety worse. One of them is excess sugar, because that can increase anxiety and harm health by causing quick energy spikes and crashes. When you eat sugar, it goes into your into your blood and then your blood sugar levels spike and then you have these mood crashes right so whenever you eat sugar you might experience that you have some kind of brain fog or your mood goes up and down up and down up and down and that is terrible for your mental health for your anxiety and it can also increase your anxiety because you become like and you, you get into this hyper anxious state and when you're a person that is very aware of his body like i am i can instantly feel when i eat sugar that I'm starting to feel worse. I get brain fog, I can't concentrate, my anxiety levels are spiking. It is literally so bad that I'm trying to avoid sugar at all costs. And on top of that, sugar has a bunch of other effects that are just terrible. And this cycle can lead to poor dietary choices and more anxiety because you actually can get addicted to sugar. And artificial sweeteners are just like as bad. Don't take artificial sweeteners like um, aspartame because they can also cause anxiety and gut issues. Now, the next thing is gluten. Gluten is a protein in wheat and other grains, so like bread and stuff like that. And that can cause problems for some people. I don't like to eat bread anymore, right? Like I'm living in Germany and we have a diet that is very heavily relying on bread. Like we bread eat in the morning and in the evening. It's just a standard here. It's our culture. And I completely stopped eating that. My family is judging for it, but I feel so much better. Now, because you can have some diseases and stuff like that, which make gluten intake worsen your anxiety like the um, Keliak disease, which is an autoimmune condition triggered by gluten, causing gut damage and anxiety, or you're just very sensitive to gluten, um, so less severe, but can still cause anxiety and digestive issues. And of course, unhealthy fats, so things like junk food and deep fried foods. Avoid that at all costs, because they have a lot of omega-6 poofers, which is uh, in safflowers, soybean, and sunflower oil. You have to avoid that at all costs. Like just try to eat um, deep fried food and really observe your body after eating that and you will understand how much worse you will feel. Same thing with gluten. If you are very sensitive to gluten and foods that are um, high in sugar or in GL, you will literally feel your body and your anxiety getting worse. I can feel it inside of my body. Like When I eat one bad meal, everything else starts to go to shit. And maybe you can relate to this. So you have to avoid these foods at all costs and replace them with the foods that I'm about to show you. And omega-6 is terrible, like I said before. Now, omega-3 is very good for your body. Omega-3 is in fish and stuff like that. And let's cover what to eat instead. First of all, I have a meal template. First link in the description. First of all, I have a complete meal template. You can download it for free. The link is in the description. And you can just look at the meals that I eat throughout the day. So you should focus on foods that have folate, which is vitamin B9. 
because they support mood regulation and brain health by aiding neurotransmitter production, so like serotonin and dopamine. And the sources are leafy greens, beans, peas, avocado, and citrus fruits. The second thing is iron. So this is essential for brain oxygenation and neurotransmitter sen senses, again, dopamine and serotonin. And sources include seafood, so like fish and stuff like that, or um, oysters and meat, especially liver. Liver is actually very good because it's very dense in micronutrition. Beans, nuts, and again, leafy greens. Omega-3 fatty acids. They reduce inflammation. And like I said before, inflammation is directly linked to increased anxiety. And they also, again, support the neurotransmitters and enhance your mood. So basically fish, salmon, sardines, walnuts, flaxseed, omega-3 fortified eggs. Now, magnesium, very important. It can um, reduce stress. It can make you sleepy. It can enhance mood regulation. And sources include spinach, almonds, peanuts, beans, whole grains. Now, I do take magnesium supplements, but I advise to just eat clean first. It's because supplements don't work as well as actually eating the food because it gets digested in a different way. It would be too deep to get into it now, but if you eat the right foods, it's way better than just taking supplementation. Potassium aids nerve signaling and serotonin regulation and promotes relaxation. So sources include bananas, oranges, potatoes, spinach, beans, and nuts. Selenium, selenium it protects the brain cells from oxidative, oxidative stress and supports mood stability. And the sources include seafood, Brazil nuts, meat, whole grains, and next up is vitamin B1, which um, converts food energy for brain function and supports mood stability. So whole grains, beans, nuts, porks, and lean meats. Vitamin A, also very important vitamin um, that supports brain cell growth because with the foods that you eat, your brain can actually grow. Like for a long time, people thought their brain stops growing when you turn into an adult adolescence. But we found out, well, not me, but studies found out that your brain actually grows way beyond that. And you can improve your brain and grow your brain by eating the right foods. So eat carrots, sweet potatoes, red pepper peppers, liver, and eggs. The next one is vitamin B6, which is um, again, supporting your neurotransmitters and again, aids in mood regulation. You can see all of these foods have quite a similar benefits and sources include chicken, turkey, bananas, spinach, nuts, whole grains. Next up, vitamin B12, which is um, very important for your nerve function and supports mood stability. And sources again include seafood, meats, diary, fortified foods. Next up, vitamin C. You probably know vitamin C, right? It's a good uh, antidioxidant and reduces your inflammation inside of your body and also supports brain health. And sources include citrus fruits, so like um, citron or like lemon, strawberries, bell, pe bell peppers, and tomatoes. Next up is zinc, which is like in, similar to iron. And it's X again as an antidioxidant, reduces inflammation, supports immune function, regulates neurotransmitters balance and enhances your mood. Sources include nuts, seeds, beans, seafood, meat. Next up, choline, um, which supports brain cell structure, aids neurotransmitter production and reduces your inflammation. And sources include eggs, meat, seafood, nuts, seeds, and additional support. Um, food and colorful foods and vegetables promote cell growth and reduce inflammation. So just try to eat a lot of vegetables and meat, basically. Good fats found in olive oil support brain health and reduce inflammation. So it's very important that you eat the right oil or you cook with the right oil not like sunflower oil, I would highly suggest that you try olive oil and good bugs. So healthy gut bacteria found in probiotic rich foods like yogurt, and they can help regulate mood and reduce anxiety. Now, here are a couple of pillars that you have to follow when you're trying to improve your diet and stick to what you should eat instead. So eat whole to be whole. You want to focus on whole foods. So no processed foods. Like my general rule is that if I look at the back of something that I want to buy in the grocery store, like let's say crisps, if you look at the back and you see more than one ingredient, which you will see, don't buy it. Eat whole foods. So if you want to eat potato, just eat raw potato, just buy raw potato. What is the ingredient of potato? It's just potato. If you look at crisps or um, fries or whatever, you will see there are a bunch of different chemicals inside that food, which will fuck up your hormones and make you way more anxious by increasing inflammation and harming you and your um, 
gut bacteria. Okay? The second pillar is the calming chylodiasco plate. So focus on including a variety of colorful vegetables. So green, red, purple, whatever. Vegetables, fruits, herbs and spices. And also focus on magnifying micronutrition. That is the pillar three. So ensure adequate intake of essential vitamins and minerals. So vitamin B, complex, C, D, E, and minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc. Also, the next pillar, pillar four, prioritize healthy fats. Don't eat junk food, don't eat burgers, don't eat fries. You know, all of that stuff is bad for you. And consume healthy fats. So like olive oil, avocado oil, fatty fish like salmon, nuts, and seeds. And try to moderate your saturated fats intake. So unprocessed meat, full fat diary is way better. Pillar five, avoid anxiety triggering foods. So eliminate foods that negatively impact your mental health and metabolic health. So also alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, sugar, and all of the bad stuff, unhealthy fats, junk food. And pillar six, find consistency and balance. Create a sustainable diary habits that promote long-term mental health. So you can do a personalization. You just incorporate the healthy foods into your diet that you enjoy and you like and that you know are healthy. And just have some body intelligence. So adjust your diet based on how food affects your mood and energy. This, this is very different for everyone because your gut um, bacteria and microbiome is very different to mine. So you have to really find out what works for you, but you can go with these general guidelines. Now, if you don't like spinach, you can try eating something else, a different kind of vegetable. If you don't like eating chicken, you can eat pork or beef or whatever. If you're a vegetarian, you can try uh, eating sources of protein from plants like beans and nuts and other vegetables. And enjoyment, balance nutrition with the pleasure of eating. How to stick to your diet? So first of all, you want to focus on self-love and respect. So you recognize and honor your personal needs. You know what you should eat, you, show what, you know what you shouldn't eat. And this is a fundamental step that builds a foundation for self-love and respect, essential for healing anxiety. You also want to focus on self-attunement. So you pay attention to your body signals. If you eat something and your body doesn't like it and your anxiety goes up, avoid it. You need to be in tune with your body. You really need to feel your body. So when you're eating, just try to eat very mindful. And also really be mindful of your body after eating. How do you feel after you eat certain foods? If you feel good, that's a good sign. If you feel bad and your anxiety increases, that's a bad sign. You also want to listen to yourself, right? Because anxiety is different for everyone else. You want to listen to your specific triggers and better manage and overcome them. Self-direction. You want to take charge of managing your anxiety by integrating self-love, self-attunement and self-listening because this empowers and gives you a sense of control and purpose. And of course, self-improvement. Celebrate your progress along the way. If you eat one less bad food today, there's already an improvement. Like I want to give an action by step right now. You have probably have like some vice inside of your diet. Maybe you like to eat chocolate, crisps, ice cream, whatever. Just replace one single thing today with a healthier source of the things that I just showed you or check out the template in the description for free and download a couple of meals that I like to eat. You also want to be aware of perfectionism. It's not about changing a diet within a day. It's not about that. It's a long process. It's better to take small, consistent steps than to start way too high and then quit. You also want to reduce criticism and judgment, right? You want to be aware of that because if you fuck up on your diet, don't criticize yourself. The best diet is the one that you can stick to. Don't criticize yourself for eating junk food sometimes. Like you've been eating the wrong food for so long that your body is used to it and your body is craving it. Your body and mind is actually kind of addicted to like sugar and junk food. And on top of that, it's not even your fault because the evil scientists, they put chemicals inside of the food that makes you addicted to them. Think about that. It's you against like thousands of scientists and big corporations. And wherever you go, you just see junk food everywhere. Like you can go outside into a store and 90% of it is junk food and you will be tempted to buy it and you will be tempted to eat it. But you just have to resist and you have to understand that it's your life, it's your mental health, it's your anxiety and you have to prioritize that over eating and the pleasure of like having a bit of sugar. And when you do fuck up on your diet, just really feel the pain of it. Like you don't want to beat yourself up, but you can feel the pain. Because when I eat junk food, when I eat sugar, I immediately afterwards feel worse and then I'm like, why did I just eat a bar of chocolate for five minutes and now I'm feeling bad for two, three hours? The trade-off is not worth it. You have to 
Think about the first order consequences and the second order consequences of your actions and whether it will lead you in 50 years. Because if you continue eating like you are right now, you will feel anxious forever and you will become obese and you won't be healthy. And in 50 years, you might die because of obesity and like too much fat inside of your body or like a heart disease. Also take care of self-hatred and criticism with mindfulness and try to reduce your anxiety triggers and emotions versus the whole self. Anxiety is part of you. It doesn't define you. You are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions. And following nutritional and integrative principles can lessen anxiety's impact on your overall well-being. Okay, so these steps are very important. Now, if you need help applying these strategies and you want to overcome your anxiety, especially your generalized anxiety disorder, you can click on the first link in the description to book a free call with me. We will hop on a call. I will answer all of your questions and I will see if you're a right fit for my coaching and program. Thanks for watching and please take action.